it was wow. rescued. You see her reunited wow. with her owner there. I know, and it, it's it's so great. You know, we had our crew out there, and we got some tips that she that she was on the ice, and we were able to get all that footage of her. And yeah. she was a mile, a mile from shore. So, Boy, and it, she went 18 miles. 18 miles That's from a home. hole. I know. Oh my God. Well, listen, that dog's a fighter. So she Kimberly, is. She's Kimberly's an adventurous girl. Yes, <laughs> she, she is. is. You're looking for adventure. Yeah. Today's your day to find it. Because, okay. Yeah, we're going to get up to 53 degrees. It's going to be a good day to get that out and about. A good day. little bit of rain out there in some locations. Not a ton. There's a live look outdoors in Brexville. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies, and that's the way it's going to stay. Not a whole lot of sunshine. So the day is not going to look all that nice, but a temperature of 53 degrees, it's going to feel pretty decently. And we're looking at a little bit of rain that's showing up on some locations on the Power 5 Doppler radar network, mostly just affecting our northeast quadrant. You can see everything uh, that has been coming in, moving mostly from west to east, a little bit toward the uh, the southeast. Mayfield getting a little bit of shower activity right now, so is uh, Mayfield Heights, Richmond Heights, Gates Mills, Chester getting a little bit of rain, Kirtland Hill seeing some as well. We're also seeing some rain across portions of Ashtabula County. Everything very light though. It's all going to move through reasonably quickly. We'll see some hit and miss showers throughout portions of the day. And then again, not much in the way of accumulations. Now, temperatures, those are something nice we can talk about. 43 degrees now for Euclid. It's also 43 downtown Bedford with 42, 42 for Chagrin Falls. Burton with 41. It is 42 now in Chardon across our southern sections. Temperatures mostly in the low 40s as well. Barberton with an even 40, 42 for uh, Orville, Wadsworth, 41, 42 degrees now in Massillon. Here's a look at that hour by hour forecast. Not a whole lot in the way of sunshine. A few peaks here and there, and temperatures are going to be the big best news of the day. We're going to reach our high in the low 50s right around the noontime hour. Still pretty comfortable about 2 o'clock with 49, 4 o'clock. 46, 6 o'clock, 41. Then we're going to be in the 30s by about 8 o'clock tonight. In the late night hours, skies clear out. That's going to allow for the temperature to get considerably cooler. And we're going to get down into the 20s during the overnight hours. Here's why. Frontal system coming through. A lot of cold air funneling in back behind it. And it's going to be kind of tough to rebound from that in the next couple of days. So a few hit and miss showers across our northeastern quadrants for portions of the afternoon. Maybe a little bit into the early evening hours. And then the late night hours, things clear out and we do get quite cold. But before we get cold, we get warm. A high today of 53 degrees, mostly cloudy. Few showers again across our northeastern quadrants. And breezy winds out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour for tonight, down to a low of just 26 degrees. Partly cloudy skies and wind settling down, coming in from the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's what we're expecting in the extended forecast. It is going to look nice for the next couple of days. Lots of sunshine for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But look at those daytime highs from 53 today to just 34 for a high tomorrow. Kristen? All right. A woman in Maine did.